Good morning, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever this finds you. Oh, sweet Jesus. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. Oh, y'all. When I set the timer on the stove, it was 11 11. Oh, oh, what we got going on. Oh, I got woke up this morning with Rihanna saying, Bitch, shut up and drive, drive, drive. Shut up and drive. I don't know how the alarm got switched to the phone, but it did. And that's what I got woke up to. I'm like, okay, Riri. Okay. Okay. What do we feel a collective? Hmm. I sat here charging some crystals, guys and gals, but I don't recall that card. Okay, celebration. Okay. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's a celebration. And apples. Ripeness. Something hasn't ripened up yet. <sighs> it's a nine card. I have to say my apple trees did good this year, but uh, my pear trees didn't do shit. Normally the pears do really good. You could be the apple of someone's eyes. Maybe you're dreaming about the big apple. Trust. Trust in reverse. Trust in rightness. Ooh, trust ball. Trust. 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 Trust in the big apple. Trust in the big white way. Trust. Trust. It isn't time yet. It's not time to pick the harvest. It's not time to harvest. It's not time to... It's not time to pick the harvest yet. What you got with this deck? Okay, collective. There is something you do not see. There is something you do not see. But it's good. Morality. Projections in reverse. Control in reverse. Projections, control, and reverse. A miser. Change. Guilt. Uh, 74 could mean something. 748. 847. What's this morality about? What's this morality about? Spirit, do tell. What's this morality about? Nothingness. Nothingness? <laughs> Celebration wanted to pop out again, though. Celebration and comparison. We're taking them. We're taking them. <sighs> collective, collective. I really would like to figure out a way to put a camera above, y'all. I don't even know how the hell they do that. That would be kind of nice. Because sometimes I don't want you all could see 
what I'm looking at. But I don't know how to do all that fancy shit, y'all, okay? We can't do all that fancy shit. This is, this is fucking beautiful. So we got morality here, right? Covered by nothingness. Celebration and comparison, 35. Celebrating your differences, right? Celebrating the indifference. Celebrating being different. Celebrating everyone sins differently, right? Uh, As we got control in reverse, projections in reverse, the miser in reverse, change in reverse with guilt here. Three plus five goes to eight, and eight right here, 88. Nothing compares to you. Right? That's totally the energy that I'm feeling here. Nothing compares to you. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. The hidden morals, right? Celebrating being different. Nothing really matters. Love is all we need. Nothing really matters. It all comes down to me. Y'all forgive me, I'm sniffling. I think it's allergies. There's something once a year I get allergies from. I haven't figured out what the fuck it is. And that just started past four or five years. <laughs> so it's like we got one energy here that embraces being different. Embraces... Being different embraces everything, right? It is what the fuck it is. You're what color you are. You're what religion you are. You are what uh, sexual orientation you are. You are whatever sex you are, right? Or whatever you uh, gender identify with, right? You're like, nothing really matters. We're all different. Let's celebrate our differences, right? That's what makes the world go round. The differences, right? We're all different. If we were all the same, it'd be a very bland world. And then someone over here is having a crisis of consciousness. Projections in reverse. Let me show you the cards here. Hey, y'all, as we get a little more advanced and Daddy gets someone who knows what the fuck they're doing, I would love to do an overhead cam. Uh, guilt, right? Someone just, oh, in their head, like, what the fuck? Because they just don't want to change anything. Projections reverse, control, the miser, change. They can't control anything, right? Shit is what it is. Uh, am I feeling nefarious, collective? Not really. Kind of like this change is going to happen whether somebody wants it to or not, right? Don't really fucking matter. There's some things you just can't control. There's some things you just can't control. Everybody's different. Everything is different. Everything is different. 
You can't control people. You can't control what people do. You can't control what people think. You can't control uh, anything but what you think, what you have control over, right? Y'all hear that little bird chattering? Y'all hear that little bird chattering? This is kind of like that winds of change, right? Y'all, I can't whistle for shit. <laughs> Some of y'all that kind of remind you of the eye of a hurricane, right? You see that? You can't control some shit, right? You can't control... You can't control Mother Nature. You can't control shit. Okay, y'all, this is beautiful so far, right? That's absolutely fucking beautiful. Someone's going through it, right? You can't control everybody. You can't control everything. Maybe someone can't control you collective, or you can't control somebody. And I'm, I'm not really feeling that's like a, a personal type energy, like maybe just in, in general, right? When you look at uh, politics or religion or or any area out there that, you know, are hot topics, right? Uh, how's that country song go? Uh, religion, politics, or her, is that it? That's what I'm wanting to say. You know what I'm saying? You don't talk about those three things. Who the fuck sung that song? That's interesting. I'm drawn to that song. Talk about anything but religion, politics, and her. <laughs> okay, that's that's specific to somebody. I'm kind of hearing it, but I don't remember. It's my uh, I want Trace Atkins or um. God, who was that other one? Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Let me think about a collective. Okay. Let's throw this little ass deck down there. What the hell was his name? Not Tim McGraw. What the fuck? Alan Jackson. Is it Alan Jackson that sung that? Politics, religion, or her? Alan Jackson had a lot of really good songs. I don't think I don't think he's come out with anything here lately. Politics, religion, and her. Brad Paisley's wanting to pop into mine. Seriously, who the hell sung that fucking song? I'm gonna have to look it up, y'all. So. Don't ask about politics, religion, or her. Or politics, religion, and him, right? And you're going to be fine. Ain't that like a, a, how to survive the holidays with family? Uh, well, speaking of which, we're going to be coming up on them holidays with family. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Four of Wands in the world. Okay. The High Priestess in reverse with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay. Seven of Pentacles here with the Nine of Pentacles. And the freaking Page of Pentacles. Working on your stability. Working on your money. Working on you, sweetie. Working on you, dude. Everything's looking good, too. This is uh, stability behind you. This is stability, stability currently. And this is even more stability coming in. Where are you thinking about the future, your growth, your opportunities? That is fucking brilliant. With this Knight of Cups in reverse and this Four of Wands and the World card. Okay. Someone's holding back. Someone is holding back. 
And then someone sees a happily ever after. Okay? They see it. And collective, I think they see it with you. Uh, do I feel this is you going after someone? Not really. I think you're more focused on your money. Um, I think you would eventually like to get there. But it's not like a, a major concern right now. You're like working on your money, getting your stability. Because notice the coloring on the cards, right? This is like your current energy. Working on your money, being financially stable, right? This is having the savings built up, security, right? And this is the future. More coming in. Brighter days, happy days, all that beautiful shit. Now, I would be drawn to say this could be someone that's around you or someone currently going to be coming into your energy because of the darkness of these cards. That blue-black background, right? I'm telling a lot of you, as you do your uh, work, as you get your enlightenment, as you, you do you, boo, you're going to call in the right one. Whatever it is you're doing, you're going to call in the right one. It's like the energy at play here. And this person, this energy is around you. That don't mean you know them. Always keep that in mind. That does not mean that you know them. The High Priestess in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. For a lot of you, someone is walking away from a situation that is, uh, they've, they've had to have their guard up. It hasn't been a very good uh, situation, right? The Eight of Cups is usually walking away from one to go in, in search of their personal wish fulfillment. Uh, collective, I don't feel this is your energy because I think you're sitting in your stability, right? If you haven't got there quite yet, you're working on it. You're productive. You're independent. You got your shit together, right? You're, you're active now and you're proactive going towards the future. You're thinking, thinking ahead, right? Thinking and planning ahead. Some of you had to walk away from a situation which they were very, very guarded from. And the high priestess there, you you don't see this energy happening. You don't see this happening. Now, does that mean the past, the past ex? Not really. Uh, this could be the next person that you meet that, you know, they had to deal with some shit. Yeah, look at this. The Ten of Wands here, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Wands. Once this person realized they can let their guard down and not carry that burden anymore, then, you know, things could change. Because this person, Page of Wands in reverse with the star there. <sighs> this is about the person doing the healing. It's about this person watching somebody who they, they that stands out to them, right? We're all a star in our own life movie, right? Women, you're a star to your children. You're the leading lady, right? We're all the leading men and la ladies in our uh, uh, boyfriend's, girlfriend's life, husband's, wife's lives. We're all the main character, the leading men, the leading ladies. <laughs> this is future, though. It's like someone had to get their shit together in order to do what they needed to do in the current situation. Someone had to get their shit together in order to come through and make an offer. I'm drawn to say the gold backgrounds is like the future. Y'all read the cards how you interpret it. But there is so much positive going on here. And this wands energy... It's like there is action around this person that wants to come in, but it wasn't like good, positive energy, right? It was more like being on the defensive, you know, uh, politics, religion, and her, right? This person was dealing with some very tough issues, some very touchy issues, and, you know, it's like they had to skirt a lot of things, right, uh, in order to not disrupt, we all know that. You want to get an argument going? Talk about religion. Talk about politics. 
For some of y'all, Mitch is someone's fucking ex. And you're gonna go, woo, it's just gonna get real, right? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is definitely an energy that's been wanting to come forward. Uh, there is like no action though on these cards, right? So, don't hold your breath. Which you shouldn't be holding your breath waiting for anybody anyway, right? You should be out there living your life, doing you. Doing you. Yeah, the hangman here with the five of swords. Yeah, someone is definitely dealing with a very hurtful, heartbreakful situation. Not a very good, happy energy. But, you know, uh, healing ain't easy, y'all. The journey ain't easy, right? Anything you do to better yourself, to get to get a better life, to get better opportunities, usually comes with some pains. For some, it could have been a moral dilemma they were dealing with, right? A very touchy situation, a very touchy, tough, touchy subject. Um, if this isn't dealing with a lover, this could just be dealing with like personal life, right? Family life. Maybe someone had to make the decision to put a, a an elderly parent in a nursing home. Or if they had uh, children, you know, issues with a child, figuring out how they're going to take care of a child. Or or um, if a child had special needs, how those needs were going to be met. You know what I mean? There could have been a lot of issues here that really didn't have anything to do with your situation in general. Just others that were in your situation, right? Family. The family dynamic. Yeah, this is that Will of Fortune at play. Three of Wands here with the Ace of Wands and then the Hierophant card. You know, Spirit... Spirit ain't gonna bring you anybody that you're gonna have to be on guard with. Y'all realize that, right? God ain't going to send you a piece of shit that you're going to have to polish up to turn into a spouse. Masculine or feminine, right? When spirit wants to bring you the right person, they're going to show up in the right... in the right energy, in the right mood, in the right mind frame, in the right everything in order to come towards you. God ain't going to send you some piece of shit you got to uh, try to spit shine, right? And try to, you know, put some 14 karat gold leaf on that. Uh-uh. That ain't, that ain't how God works. That's not what spirit's going to do. Not when you got your shit together. Because you need to continue on dreaming big. Uh, creating more in your life. Protecting and, and growing and nurturing and harvesting what you got going on right now. So, you know, y'all go meet when it's time. It's as simple as that. And you don't have to know this energy that is around you. Because y'all know you can, you're going to meet. It's going to be this beautiful meet cue type situation like in a romantic comedy. Before it all falls into play. But right now, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's still a lot of work to be done. Eight of Pentacles there in reverse. There's still work to be done. Empress. Look at that beautiful card. So much beautiful energy when you let go and let God. When you let go and let God work on your behalf. Trust your gut, trust your guidance, trust your intuition. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? And remember, God ain't going to bring you a, sh a piece of shit and make you try to turn that into a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a life partner or whatever the fuck. Okay, he's going to bring you in somebody who, who is ready. Who is ready. They're ready. But it's not time yet. It's not time yet. 
It's like life decisions being made, y'all. Don't really have nothing to do with you or them, per se. Uh, it's everything around, right? It's life decisions, children, uh, family members, elderly family members, right? It's life. Life getting in the way of your love life. And things having to work out. Things having to fall into place the way they're meant to. Learning and loving and releasing and all that beautiful stuff. Two of swords there at the devil in reverse, right? Dealing with inner demons, inner conflicts. Anything that, you know, was a drag on your energy. Anything that was a waste of your time. Anything that uh, cut into the positive. Okay? And that devilish energy is anything that you do that is in excess and isn't exactly good for you. That could be overeating, right? Spending too much time on social media. Uh, spending too much time working. You can't work a little too much. You got to know when to, to, when to pull your energy back and take a rest. You always got to know when to love yourself. Oh, look at that. Page of Cups with the Nine of Cups there. You always got to know when to love yourself and when to give love to yourself. And how to go out there and, and, and get your wish fulfillment. For some of you, the person that's meant to come into you, they're still trying to learn how to love themselves. Like Mama Ruth says, if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else, huh? You got to love yourself first. They're getting guided. They're getting guided, folks. They're getting guided. But in order to call this in, you got to be calling in your stability as well, right? You got to be working on your wish fulfillment. You got to be putting the time and energy and effort towards you, okay? And, and looking at the future and figuring out where you want to go, where you want to be. Now, this could be someone from the past for you all that want that past person to catch up. I'm not, it's not really showing up with like the Six of Cups or anything here. But, you know, a lot of you need to be open to the new, to the new energy. Someone that doesn't come with too much. Keeping your options open. Always keeping your options open. Because they, whoever the hell, someone got a lot of shit they deal with. And a lot of it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Your situation really has nothing to do with them. But it's still that conflict. You both have to work through your conflict around others. Y'all, that is so fucked up. I sat down and that's the first time I thought I needed an overhand camera, okay? Y'all, take advantage of this new moon energy, okay? Take advantage. Get you a fucking journal. Keep you a journal. You know, I love Dollar Trees. They all kind of have all kinds of cute little journals you can keep handy anywhere around your house to write in. Keep you a good journal and for fuck's sake, some good pens. You'll pay a little extra for some good pins. Now, I, y'all, I like to keep some multicolored in case there's things I want to highlight. Money. Black is more like uh, deep thoughts. Blue is more like creative energy. And red is anything that needs to be outlined or like put an asterisk by to, to create focus around or attention. <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of this. You, but you don't hold your breath. You can't wait for somebody. You can't wait for this shit to happen. You gotta be forging ahead. You gotta be forging ahead. Trusting your gut, your guidance, your intuition. What are you being drawn to do? Now, a tarot reader can't tell you that because every one of you, it's gonna be a different thing. It could be focusing more on work. It could be focusing more on your uh, side hustles. It could be focusing more on um, your education more on your family. You know, everyone's specifics is different. But you're going to know what you need to focus on. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever sat down here to read that it popped into my head, I would love to have an overhead camera system. 
But if I did an overhead camera system, I would want to have like this version going with that kind of on the side screen. And y'all, I have no fucking idea how that's done. Okay? I'm just going to tell you, right? So, you know, as I think about how we're going to progress with things, right? I got to bring that up because I've never thought that. And that was the first thing that fucking come out, right? What are you working on? What are you doing? What are you being proactive about? And when you are thinking about the future, right? There, there ain't no reason you can't dream about a happily ever after and getting a new start and creating a family or, or finding the perfect mate, right? There ain't nothing wrong with that, thinking about that. Uh, wanting that happily ever after to kind of finish up the picture, you know, manifesting, but you don't manifest a particular person, you manifest the energies, and you're always focused on you. But yeah, a lot of you don't hold your breath because there's still a lot of things. Yeah, the Six of Swords here in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse, with the Two of Cups in reverse. Y'all, I'm not feeling a negative energy with this. I'm, I'm feeling very peaceful, actually. This is like so divinely fucking guided. Right? That when this shows up, there ain't gonna be no negative energies around it. There ain't gonna be like no opposition. There ain't gonna be no, no... It's gonna be like smooth sailing. It's gonna be like perfect, perfect weather for that shit. To, to move forward in truth and and uh, and happiness and, and we're going off to a I want to say like a safe destination right to uh, to that perfect new world to that perfect new start now the energy here is so fucking clear and beautiful. As far as when this is supposed to come together. Because the conflict has to be resolved before this can come together. Because spirit ain't going to bring you a situation that's going to cause agitation. Right? For either party. Either one of you. The situation when it comes together has got to flow. I'm going to say fro. Fro. It's got to fro easily. Right? It's going to flow easily. There's not going to be no restrictions. No uh, obstacles in the way. It's like all that's going to be removed. All that's going to be removed to bring in the good. Because the future energy I'm reading is this gold, right? This is like the, the happiness. Things are being stagnant because uh, when it comes together, it's going to be a happy, uh, joyful type situation. 